Some techs were going through in two minutes, some in less than that, like a minute and a half, and some guys were taking five minutes because you've got to go through the washer and then the dryer and then you've got to wipe it down after. So what we found was that was the inconsistency. But then once we actually drilled down even more, you actually found there was no, the maintenance wasn't scheduled properly as who looks after the machine, parts getting replaced, parts were worn out, not working properly. Um, some of the chamois we were using and the cloths we were using to dry and clean the cars were just being reused and wiping dirt over the car. They were wet, they weren't drying. The lighting out the back you can't even see when you're cleaning the car. So all these things came up once we actually got in and got all the data. So then you were able to break it down and find out and we actually being able to make little adjustments in all those areas to get the end result. Car washing by itself is quite a mundane thing, but when you actually sit back and look at the impact it has on our guests, our guest retention, our guest satisfaction, and NPS and all those things, it's a fundamental. You know, you, you don't wake up in the morning going, I can't wait to get my car serviced this morning. But if at the end of that experience you drive out in a car that's running well and is also very clean, it just makes it a better experience than if you drive out in a, in a dirty or a half clean car. The car wash was the focus, but what we wanted was to have the quality car wash. So we wanted to get our score up, so the outcome was to have a quality car wash. But we also wanted to make sure that we had it so that it could be quality controlled by the person that's actually doing it, built in quality. Through the um, Genchi process, we found that we have 30, 40 odd technicians in the workshop and we had 30, 40 different ways of washing a car so you know where one person would spend five ten minutes on a car someone else might spend 30 seconds so there was no real process in place and while we had general knowledge around what a clean car should look like we didn't have a standard of this is what we expect the car to look like when you're done with it one of our biggest problems when we started was the lack of any standard i guess it's probably the most important thing create a standard and then implement processes and and checkpoints in there to make sure that that standard is being adhered to. JKK is one thing that you know I really enjoyed learning about and I think can make a massive difference not only to my training and things like that but the way that we we do things in the dealership it's it's about creating standards and processes and then measurements so that people know what that standard is and they can look at it by themselves and go yes I've achieved this or no I haven't and then rectify it there on the spot. It was overwhelming to start with because there was so much going on and all of us breaking off into teams and going to do different parts of the process but once we got there and actually were going and getting actually measuring the real data of because we all had our assumptions of what we thought the problem was but when you actually go and stand there and measure it and watch it and count and mark it all down there were different things that were coming up to show us there was a number of different things that were at fault rather than just us saying the techs weren't doing a good job, there's lots of things. The biggest learning I took from the Jishukin is the JKK and I feel that it's, it's the perfect tool for developing a process, um, you know, self-sustaining, self-checking, standard process with clear outcomes. I think that the JKK breaks it down and makes every task breaks it into a simple, if I do this and I use these tools, I will achieve this. Without knowing a clear outcome, it, I think back and like, are those processes written correctly or are they the right processes? Because the, the biggest thing that I think in JKK is the self-auditing and, and self-checks that, that those processes allow. The important bit, which comes back to that JKK, is empowering the staff to be able to make that decision that it's not right yeah. and then rectify it. because you shouldn't need to, to take it up the line to be able to fix a, a fault or a concern that you can quite clearly see and rectify yourself uh, if you've got clear-cut procedures. With a lot of the Kaizen stuff we've been doing here, it's actually taught us a lot on how to work out a way to fix a problem. So some people, you might try to fix a problem, all you've done is moved it somewhere else. Um, but to actually have a process and a building block to um, fix it. So the Jishikin that we did was a fantastic way to teach us that. Have you seen a difference in your approach to training since? 100%. Really? 100%. In um, what way? You know, I think the things that we learned in the Jishikin were all things we already knew, but they reinforced it really well and gave us some new approaches into how to achieve those things. Um, definitely, I think what, um, what I really got out of it was 
looking at a, a bigger picture. Uh, when you make a change or when you implement some training, not only look at the, the impact that it will have directly in the short term, but also how it impacts long term and impacts other parts of the business. Because it's not being taught downward, taught down from management, it's everyone on every level gets involved you get more engagement. So that way, they're part of the process and part of the result or part of the decision making. And then what they do is I found, they actually show their peers, we did this because of this. This is the reason why we did that. And they can explain it. And then you find it's easier for the other guys to, to follow along rather than being told that that's the way we're doing it. And I think that also empowers people to look at the standard and make sure that everyone's meeting the standard, I think. Um, that's an important part that we get our employees to do that sort of stuff. Mm.